In order to publish your website in EverWeb, you must have purchased an EverWeb standalone license or have purchased an EverWeb Plus hosting account. You need to be logged into your EverWeb account in EverWeb itself to publish your website. There are three ways to do this. The first way is to use the EverWeb Preferences menu option. In the Account tab, log in with the same email address and password that you used when you purchased EverWeb. The second way of logging in is by clicking on the Publish button in the toolbar. A pop-up window will appear. Click on the Sign In button, then enter your email address and password. The third way of logging in is to click on your website project name. This will display the Site Publishing Settings window. Click on the Sign In button and enter your email address and password. Once you are signed in to your EverWeb account, you will remain signed in until you sign yourself out. In the Publishing section of the Site Publishing Settings, you can choose to publish to either an EverWeb hosting account, to a local folder or to FTP server. If you own an EverWeb standalone license, you can only publish to a local folder and to FTP. To publish to a local folder, you can choose the folder location by clicking on the Choose button and then selecting the location. Once you have set the location, enter your site's URL into the website URL field. You can now click on the Publish button in the toolbar to publish your site. If you are publishing to your EverWeb Plus hosting account, you will see the EverWeb location settings. Most EverWeb Plus hosting users only have one account, so you can usually ignore the Accounts field. However, if you do have more than one EverWeb Plus hosting account, select the account you want to use from the drop-down menu. If your account has more than one domain, use the Domain drop-down menu to choose which domain to publish to. If you have only one domain, you will not see this menu. To protect your website and improve your SEO, you can check the Use HTTPS Secure URLs checkbox to access EverWeb SiteShield add-on. Find out more about SiteShield add-on in the EverWeb User Manual. The subdirectory field allows you to publish your website to a different location on the server. This is useful for testing purposes. For example, if I want to publish my website to test it without overwriting my existing website, I can enter a subdirectory name in the subdirectory field. In this example, I'm going to use the word test. I can access my website at evwebtutorials.com forward slash test rather than at evwebtutorials.com. The website published at evwebtutorials.com has not been overwritten and is unchanged since the last time it was published. Using the subdirectory field is optional. If you want your site to be accessed at the root of your domain, leave the subdirectory field empty. You can publish your website directly to FTP server if you host your website with a third-party hosting provider. Enter your server address, username, password and directory path if applicable into the FTP server details section. Change the protocol and port settings if instructed to do so by your hosting provider. You can also enter your website's URL. The information you enter into these fields will differ for every user. This information is personal and private, and we do not have access to it. If you do not know what to enter into these fields, contact your hosting provider who should provide you with the settings you need. If you are having difficulty publishing your website using the Publish to FTP Server method, again, contact your hosting provider to find out if the FTP information you have entered is correct. When you have completed the settings, click on the Publish button in the toolbar to publish your website. The Publish button only publishes any changes that you have made to your site since the last publish. If you want to publish your entire website, use the File Publish Entire Site menu option.